Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Now guys, I'm back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I will show you how you can use Redshift 2.5 inside the Sanma 4D and how you can link HDRI link by Grayscale Gorilla with a Redshift. So let's start. If you don't have Redshift and HDRI link, I mentioned uh, link under description. You can download for free from my website. So okay, let's start. First of uh, I have this simple scene file here. This car scene file. So as you can see, this is a simple car, vulgar van. So we we'll just go in setting then change to uh, we we'll go in the render setting and change it to a redshift and just uh, enable a uh, global illumination if you uh, click on gi so you find a uh, primary gi engine and secondary GI. in primary gi engine we just uh, select and add brute force so and in going basic for progressive rendering just we enable progressive rendering for now or you can use simply ipr window for your real time render view so as you can see here we have this car with a global illumination active so that's not looking good so what we need to do next we create an environment for it so for environment we use dome light so just go in dome light just go in light and create a dome light so when you create a dome light so it gives you a cool texture i already up so let's apply some material on it i have car material so i apply car material on my old car so just i uh, press ctrl a and paste this material on my object so simply like this so as you can see here we have red car fully red car so we also apply this okay let's change it in change it into silver material so i have here silver material okay that's looking great this is a fully silver material but it's look like x-ray so we just change a floor color to our red i think so so that's looking too bad so because we need to add a dri map in it so let's add a dri map so what we need to do for a dri map we use a dri link with our rs dome light so for using a dri link with rs dome light just right click on your rs dome light layer and here you find a dri link tab so just go in your rs dome light properties and drag this dome map text on your adri link tag so that's it now go in your adri link launch browser and double click on any texture so let's, let's pick up which we, we pick museum lobby if you don't have extension pack you also find extension pack in my previous video so or i already mentioned link in description so as you can see here when we apply our texture bag so it's give you a cool look here it's fully silver so we just try a little bit roughness in our material so we just go in a shade of so just give me a as you can see here it's looking great so if you don't have hdr link just download now it's a uh, really amazing plugin it's may uh, fast your workflow so you can do change just ju uh, change the environment by just pressing double click so this amazing fast so as you can see here where we go here we go here is our ipr window so we change 
test our okay creative lights so that's looking great but this is too dark let's change our material setting add a little bit so just go in reflection we add an is trophy here and go in secondary reflection so as you can see it's create little roughness inside our car and this is our logo here So let's render this logo with our default setting and we just change so we just change our ATRA. Okay. Okay, let's see how it's look like after complete rendering so we just okay so as you can see it's a really amazing plugin it's a pretty fast it also depend on your computer so uh, this is a simple how you can use ADRA link with R as dome light so you can use with uh, any light ADRA link with any light I will show you how just simply uh, let's create another light like a uh, infinity light what we need to do just create a new tag here ADRA link tag just go in texture drop and drag that's it this is a so simple that you how can use it so i hope you like this video and if you don't have this plugin so you can see that result it's looking amazing so this is a simple uh, rendering so we do nothing we just apply uh, apply a gi and uh, some little texture on it so it gives you an awesome results so I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye bye.